This video is sponsored by Cutout.pro. Cutout.pro is a photo editing platform using AI technology. You could use it to remove the background of a photo in a second. You could also manually adjust results and add different effects and text to the result. They offer other tools such as Video Background Remover, Photo Retouch, Photo Enhancer, Photo Colorizer, Cartoon Selfie, Passport Photo Maker, and so on. You could use their desktop web app or mobile app. Their mobile app is called Vitavit, both on Google Play and the App Store. Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create a mystical glow effect. I provided this photo of a deer as well as two brush sets one entitled Explosion Brushes and the other entitled Firefly Brushes. I downloaded both of them from BrushEasy.com, which is a great source for free Photoshop brushes. Before we begin, if you want to know as soon as I upload new Photoshop tutorials, some mash that subscribe button and please remember to click like if you like this video. The first step is to create two selections, one around the antlers and the other around the rest of the deer. For your convenience, I already made these selections for you and saved them in the channels panel. If you don't see it, go to window and channels. There are many ways to make selections, however for this example, I used the quick selection tool. I'll quickly show you how I did it. In version CC 2018 or later, click the select subject button. This automatically selects the subject. In earlier versions, drag the tool over your subject to select it. To check the selection, press Q to see it as a quick mask. Then revert it back into a selection by pressing Q again. To remove areas of the selection, press and hold Alt or Option as you drag over those areas. To make a selection of just the antlers, we'll remove the selection under the antlers by pressing and holding Alt or Option as we drag over it. Then go to Select and Save Selection. When you see this window, type in Antlers and click OK. It'll be saved in the Channels panel. To use the selections I already made for this image, open the Channels panel and Control click or Command click the thumbnail of the Antlers channel to select its shape. Open back the Layers panel and press Control or Command J to cut and copy it onto its own layer. We'll convert the antlers into a smart object so we can modify it non-destructively. To do this, click the icon at the upper right and click Convert to Smart Object. Place it into a folder by pressing Ctrl or Command G. Make the photo active. Click the Adjustment Layer icon and click Color Lookup. Open the 3D LUT preset list. LUT is an acronym for a lookup table. The presets in this list are color schemes used in the movie industry to create certain styles or moods. Click Moonlight.3DL. Click the adjustment layer icon again and click Exposure. Exposure mainly adjusts the highlights with minimal effect in the extreme shadows while Offset darkens the shadows and midtones with minimal effects on the highlights. Gamma is the relative bright and dark values of the image. For this image, make the exposure minus 0.5 and the gamma 0.9. Make the antlers layer active and make a copy of it. Change the copy's blend mode to linear dodge. Go to Filter Blur and Gaussian Blur. Blur it 5 pixels. Then click OK or press Enter or Return. Make a copy of it and double click Gaussian Blur of the copy to open it. Increase the blur radius to 100 pixels. Make a third copy and double click Gaussian Blur of this copy to open it. Increase the blur to 250 pixels. 
make a fourth copy, open its Gaussian blur filter, and increase it to 500 pixels. Close the folder and make a copy of it. Reduce the copy's opacity to 50%. We'll place both folders into another folder by shift clicking the bottom one and pressing Ctrl or Command G. Let's name it Antlers. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. We're going to brush in a white mist in this layer, but before we do, check your foreground and background colors. If they aren't black and white respectively, press D on your keyboard. Invert them by pressing X, so white is our foreground color. Open your brush tool and brush picker. Make sure the opacity and flow are both 100%. Assuming you already install the brushes I provided, scroll down and open the Explosion Brushes folder. Click the first one, which is 001 Explosion. Place your brush approximately here and click once. We want to confine this texture to just inside the glow of the antlers. To do this, we need to make the texture layer into a clipping mask. One way to do this is to hover your cursor between the texture layer and the folder. When you see this icon, click once. You could also go to Layer and create Clipping Mask. Next, we'll colorize the glowing antlers and the misty texture within it. Click the Adjustment Layer icon and click Hue Saturation. We'll clip this adjustment layer to the antlers folder as well. We'll see that there's a Clipping Mask icon above the adjustment layer. Click it. Check Colorize. For this image, I'll make the color a golden yellow orange, but feel free to make it any color you like. For the hue, I'll type in 24, and for the saturation, I'll type in 60. Make a new layer. In this layer, we'll add glows onto the deer's back and head. I'll name it Glow on Back and Head, but you can name it whatever you want. Open your Channels panel. If you don't see it, go to Window and Channels. Control or Command click the thumbnail of the Deer Body No Antlers to select its shape. Hide the selection by pressing Control or Command H. The selection is still there, it's just hidden from view. Open back the Layers panel and change the Active Layers Blend Mode to Soft Light. Open the Brush Picker and pick a soft round brush. Make the flow 30% and the opacity 100%. The difference between opacity and flow is this. Opacity controls the opaqueness or transparency of the paint, while flow controls the speed at which the paint is laid down, much like painting with a spray paint can. Unlike opacity, flow gives you the ability to gradually build up to your color by doing multiple passes in the same area. To adjust your brush's size, make sure the Caps Lock key is off and press the left or right bracket key on your keyboard. Reduce it to approximately this size. Brush over the top of the neck and back as you build up the brightness with each stroke. Adjust the size of the brush for smaller areas. Brush over the top edge of the ears, nose, and cheek. Deselect the hidden selection of the deer's body by pressing Ctrl or Command D. Go to the Hue Saturation Adjustment layer and press and hold Alt or Option as you drag a copy of it above the glow on the back and the head. Invert its layer mask by pressing Ctrl or Command I. This hides the adjustment layer. To reveal it back through the areas we just brushed over, Ctrl or Command click the thumbnail of the glow to select its shape. Then fill the layer mask with white by pressing Alt or Option plus Delete to fill it with the foreground color. Then deselect it. Make a new layer. Click the foreground color to open the color picker. In the hexadecimal field, type in FFC26A. Then press Enter or Return. Notice our foreground color is now the color we just typed in. Open your brush tool and brush picker. Open the Explosion Brushes and click the 001 Explosion Brush again. Go to approximately here and click once. Reduce its opacity to 
make a new layer, and name it Fireflies. Open back the brush picker, and open the Firefly brushes. I'll pick Firefly 20, but feel free to use whichever one you like. Place your cursor over the antlers and click once. Reduce its opacity to 40%. Make a new layer and name it Big Glow. Invert the foreground and background colors by pressing X on your keyboard so white is your foreground color. Open your brush picker and pick a soft round brush. The opacity and flow are both 100%. Place your cursor over the antlers and make the brush approximately this size. Click once. Change the blend mode to overlay and reduce its opacity to 60%. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.